Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brother and sister. I am a young adult woman living in the UK and born to a Polish mother and father. My father is not in the picture. In early December, I reverted at home, so not officially in the mosque, as I am quite ill and can't go outside often just because of how my house is built. I made some Arab friends in a video game, and usually I wouldn't talk to strangers on the internet. But since I can't go outside and I have lost friends because I struggle to keep up with them, I thought it would be better than being alone, though these Arab friends were all Muslim. At first I just thought to myself that I would not be Islamophobic. It's just not in me to be such. I knew my family would prefer if I was, just like them, a great Islamophobe and preacher of Catholicism, though they themselves do not even go to church. Go figure. After a few months of them logging off a few times a day, I got interested in why this is happening, what they are doing. I asked, and of course they are praying five times a day. I wanted to know more and after a few months of innocent questions and their gentle answers, I realized how peaceful I felt knowing that there are answers. To any question I had, there was an answer. A little more background on me is that I have been heavily abused at home since I was young by someone who was meant to be trusted and ended up running away for a few years before reconciling and moving back in early last year though this was more for the fact that I have gotten quite sick and couldn't self-sustain anymore. I am not liked in this household. I was not liked even when I, like they, thought I was Catholic. Fast forward a few months, I have started researching Islam in my own time. I started seeing more Islam videos on my YouTube shorts of just sheikhs and muftis speaking about Quran and Sunnah and explaining it in English so my non-Arabic speaking self can understand it better. And in December, I had finally taken to reverting with the guidance of my lovely friends. They didn't force me to. They made sure that I knew I was not being forced and they accepted me of my religion as I was. But they were happy to take me in. It was such a beautiful day for me. I was so happy for myself. I was so happy that I finally felt like I was coming back to my roots, that I was on the right path again. That was maybe until how those around me all reacted. They were not sharing the same joy. On the contrary, they were cruel at least and abusive at best. I was warned this might happen, and I did expect it, though I was still so sad by it all. My own family now had another thing to be cruel to me about whether it was a terrorist joke or just blatantly telling me I am stupid. I didn't question my stupidity. I thought I was seeing clearly for the first time in a really long time. When I got my first headscarf, my mother wouldn't even look at me anymore. She said I looked hideous and to take it off my head. She still refuses to go with me anywhere if I have it on. So I hide my hair under a hat and my neck under a scarf anyway though I do not know how bad this will look in the summer. I would appreciate any alternate suggestions below. I know that I cannot force anyone to convert. I have not tried. I have been gentle with slowly introducing some of the teachings. And even recently, when I almost ate a harem food unknowingly, something that was prepared at home but I wasn't aware was using a pig product in it, she herself stopped me to tell me it was harem. That made me feel like there was hope for her that even if she won't convert herself, maybe she will one day accept that I have converted. Maybe one day she will accept me. Sorry if the story is a bit boring, but I wanted to kind of vent a little, but get this off my chest too because it's been three months and I could hardly share it with anyone, alhamdulillah. I have also started learning Arabic from the Egyptian friend because his mother is a teacher and he is both happy to teach me and has access to the materials they teach in school. 
Dear friends, as I conclude my story, I invite you to join me on this remarkable journey of faith and self-discovery. If my words have resonated with you, I humbly ask for your support by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and sharing it with those who may find solace and inspiration in my experience. Together, let us spread love, understanding, and acceptance. Shukran for your unwavering support, and may peace be upon you all.